Okay, today we're going to talk about the 125 flow form, how you are going to receive it. You're going to receive it in the bag. You're going to receive the tail. And you're going to receive the kite. All wrapped up. This is how you receive it. This is the daisy chain. Do not get confused with this. Uh, it looks like a tangled up mess, but it is not. The thing to remember is that this daisy chain starts at the bottom of the chain. So do not try to undo this from the top and work your way down. You'll end up with a tangled up mess at the knot. So you want to just take this loop out here. Just pull the loop out. And once you pull the loop out, the daisy chain will pop out from the bottom up. Okay, keep that in mind from the bottom up. And that's it. Okay, push. Okay, just to review, make sure you undo the daisy chain from the bottom. Do not undo the daisy chain from the top. You end up with all different twists up here at the knot. So that's very important. The other thing with the tail, if your tail has loops on it, you will find these attached to the loop to put Locke's head onto the kite. So that's it. If you do not have loops on this, you will have a straight strap. That strap you put through the loop, double through the loop on the kite to attach the tail. Okay, you could. Now, the next thing I'm asked quite frequently is how do I tie? the line onto the kite. Well, I, I make a very tight loop do the locks head and I slide it over the knot. I usually slide it over the top knot leaving the bottom knot ta dangling. I have never lost a kite doing it in this method. So I really recommend this method of tying the kite to the loop. It's very easy to take out. You have no knots or anything. The other thing is some people want to use a carabiner. So you could attach a carabiner like this. I do not recommend that. I recommend a locks head on the second knot. Okay, I've laid out the kite and I've just opened it up so we could take a look at the bridle lines. There's four bridle connections. Each one is a double line with a knot loop in there. So. I don't recommend taking these off, but I do recommend laying them out before you fly the kite so you could see them and follow them back. And what you'll have here is all four bridle lines. You'll see, and you'll see it's neatly put together here, and there's no twists and turns. If there are twists and turns, we're going to go over that next. When we put this bridle line down, pull it down, we see there is a twist here, which you just bring the knot, you could bring the knot over, and you'll see it's all right the way it is because there's two up and there's two below, so there is no tangle here. Do not, under any circumstances, undo this knot unless you are a real seasoned kite flyer, because what you'll end up with is a kite that'll lean to the left, lean to the right, and not fly. But if this is really tangled up and you have to undo this knot to do this, we recommend taking a black pen and get on there and mark all your lines right at the knot. So you know and you do not lose the place. You will spend hours correcting this if you don't do this properly and you undo that knot. So we don't recommend undoing the knot, but if you are from a tangled up mess here, you feel free to be sure to mark this with a black marker. Shut it off. Okay, here's an example of what I'm talking about. If you fly the kite several times, you will find yourself in this predicament here where you have all these tangles. The easiest way to do this is to take one at a time and bring it around bring it around and bring it around and you'll have to do this several times in several different spots 
before you end up back in a one more here it looks like so we'll do this one bring it up and around okay we're back to it in a good position here to where we could oop there's another one there so we could just take this like this okay take this like this take this like this and it looks like we're there. Okay, but that is the only way to untangle this. A lot of people think it's a lot easier to undo this knot, but you are going to get in trouble if you undo the knot. Your kite's going to lean to the left, lean to the right, and have problems flying. So that's a brief outline on checking your lines, untangling your lines, and connecting the kite. Uh, enjoy the Flow Form 125. It's a fantastic flying kite. When you put the kite away, we also recommend that... What we recommend is definitely daisy chaining this thing when you put it... Put it I am left-handed, but I am going to go walk down. Walk down here. I'm going to bring the two lines together. Sometimes this is easier when the kite is just, has a little pressure on it. But I'm walking down, walking down walking down to get all these together. Now I can start the daisy. Now I'm left-handed, so it may look awkward to you, but there it is. I start and I start and I go, 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 one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. Making sure it's tight. You want to have it tight so there's no slack in there. And just keep going all the way to the end. You can make the loops as big as you want. Just keep moving, moving, moving. Keep going. And there you are. When you reach the end, what I do is I put one more in there. I, instead of putting one more in there, I can just go like this. I take this and I just do a quick turn into here and now we're locked. So here's our Jay's chain all done to pack the kite away. Okay, okay, thank you. Enjoy your 125. Uh, they're great flying kites and they're great for line laundry. Enjoy. Any questions, call me. Thank you.